Imagine this, you're eating dinner with your family and suddenly your left arm feels numb. Your speech is slurred. It could be a stroke, so you've got to get to the hospital fast. But what if your hospital doesn't have a stroke specialist? Or what if that doctor is out of town? The answer may be telemedicine. Doctors at Mayo Clinic are using a telemedicine robot that allows them to be face-to-face -face with patients who are miles away. Meet RP7, one of Mayo Clinic's telemedicine robots. Sir, what brings you into the emergency department today? I was putting on the putting green and I felt my left arm got numb-like. Any trouble expressing yourself or speaking? Uh, no, just uh, my arm and leg. These technologies give doctors and patients access to experts like Dr. DeMarshall. Even though they're miles apart. It allows the stroke neurologist to be anywhere and that's critical for stroke patients. You see, most strokes are caused by blood clots that block blood flow in your brain. Once symptoms start, you should call 911 immediately. That's because you only have from three to four and a half hours to receive treatment. After that time, clot-busting drugs don't work. The later you seek treatment, the fewer options will be available. The robot can bring Dr. DeMarshall to the patient, saving precious time and allowing for a fast and accurate diagnosis. It's a tool, really that allows a physician to see more patients from remote distances. Telemedicine program manager Dwight Channer says in addition to seeing patients, the robot also allows Dr. DeMarshall to consult with doctors in other locations, such as a doctor at a rural hospital or a neurosurgeon in a different country. That surgeon, hundreds and hundreds of miles away, can interact with us, have multiple consultants, viewing the patient, interacting with the patient via the robot. Telecommunications, bringing better care to patients. Dr. DeMarshall and his team are also working on other ways to use telecommunications to improve patient care. Some of his other projects include using smartphones to help doctors make diagnoses even when they're miles away from the hospital, using e-consultations for remotely located referring physicians and their stroke patients, and developing global stroke virtual platforms for practice, education, and research. Now, this is not intended to replace true face-to-face -face communication, but a way to enhance it. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.